I'm sure many of you at some point thought about this idea, an imaginary emergency evacuation technique by jumping out of a burning building with a chair, and when close enough to the ground, use the chair as perches to jump a second time and land safely on the ground. Well, of course this is not possible and I will be explaining why in a second, but it doesn't stop this from being a very interesting thought, because ideas like these are what lets us use our imagination, and even if we make mistakes along the way, learning from those mistakes will allow us to properly understand the laws of physics or anything actually. So let's keep this simple. Neglecting air resistance which I don't think would make a big difference, the moment you jump, you and the chair are in a free fall under the influence of gravity, and the further you fall, the more kinetic energy you accumulate, and once you reach the safe point where you would like to jump a second time, let's say it's a meter off the ground, you will push your legs against the chair and send it down further, and you still would be falling because you actually are standing on nothing, and by pushing the chair you decelerate only by trivial quantity, and altogether you aren't making any big difference to the equation, and that's the same reason why Homelander can't lift a plane in midair, because he too has nothing to stand on. For this to work, you would need to push against a proper surface by a power equal to that you are falling by. So theoretically, if that chair is really heavy and your legs have superhuman strength, theoretically you should be able to push by a great power that lets you discharge the kinetic energy and safely land on the ground. Theoretically speaking of course, I'm also not responsible for anything you may or may not do. Everything I said is only an opinion and is not to be taken as advice or a guide.